Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Ravens fanatics? This is Stats and Facts. Today is what's the date? October the 6th. And congratulations to our Ravens, Baltimore Ravens, y'all, beating up on the Steelers. I'm so happy. And uh, it was an incredible win. The game went exactly as I hoped it would. Kind of low scoring, defensive game, close. And uh, we tore it up out there, y'all. So I first want to just commend Marlon Humphreys and the Ravens defense stepped up when they were supposed to. Uh, it wasn't the greatest win, but, uh, you know, we did win. And uh, every game is not going to be perfect. You know, a win is a win. Uh, and again, Lamar Jackson still young. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna talk about Lamar Jackson today. Uh, I got a few other things I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about him in the next video uh, because I've been deemed a Lamar Jackson hater, or I don't support Lamar. No, it's, it's not. I'm again. I deal with stats and facts, and this is what you're watching today. It's stats and facts. But you see this? I am a Ravens fan. Die hard. Okay? So, I just tell it like it is. No disrespect to Lamar Jackson. And again, I'm not going to talk about him today. Um, you know, we got other things we're going to talk about. Okay? This video is going to address, it's called, first of all, most Ravens fans are crybabies. Not me. But it's a lot of people in this group and in other groups and places that are so-called Ravens fans. And they're crybabies. And y'all need to stop that crap. And I'm, I'm referring to when we lose, when we every, you know, every now and then get blown out. Last game, we got beat by the, the Cleveland Clowns. Okay? Now, why is it that when we lose a game, so many people got something bad, Ravens fans now, to say about the Ravens? I mean, it's okay to have your opinion. It's okay to be critical here. But some of the stuff I hear y'all saying, man, about our defense is trash because we only we got blown out one game and because we lost two straight games and it was only, what, our second or third game? And we played 16 games in a season? But our defense is trash? You're not, you're not looking up the stats, the statistics, or the facts on the Ravens. A trash defensive team would be Miami. Look it up. Do your research. And Arizona, not the Ravens. The Ravens is nowhere near the 32nd in defense. Nowhere near it. Also, it's too early to even tell that the Ravens defense is going to be trash because, look, y'all got to understand, man. You speak life over the Ravens. Instead of speaking death, curse words, saying bad things over them. You think that's going to make them play better defensively or offensively? No. I'm not saying you can't have an opinion. I'm not saying, but it just seems to me that most Ravens fans always, when we win, then it's, ah, oh, rah, 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 rah. I'm getting all these likes and reactions to the post that we won. And then when I, I post that we lost a game, I get one or two likes or three. Y'all got to get out of that, man. Why, why is it that Cleveland Clowns fans support the Clowns all these years, these losing seasons, Cleveland Clowns fans never have anything bad to say about the Clowns? We're, we have been more successful over the years making the playoffs and things than and even wins than the Clowns. But why is it that their fans stand by them? And a lot of y'all say, well, I stand by my Ravens. I love my Ravens no matter what. That's what you say. And then I'm reading some of y'all's comments. Ravens deep is trash, man. We, You know, we this and we that. We need to fire Harbaugh. Because we lose one or two games? Harbaugh is one of, one of the greatest Ravens coaches besides Brian Billick, check your records. Check how many wins he's gotten versus his losses. He took us to the Super Bowl, took us to multiple playoffs. 
because we got beat by the clowns we was due to get our butts kicked every now and then by somebody. And it just had to be the clowns. And could it have been, could it have been that the Browns just outplayed our defense? It, it's not saying our defense is super trash. And I already proved to you, according to statistics and rankings, that we are not trash. Could it be that the clowns stepped up their game and you guys don't want to say that? Instead of pointing the finger at who the real enemy is, you point the finger at the wrong person, at the wrong team. It's not Harbaugh. And our defense is not trash. The, the clowns came in there with strategy. They came in there with a plan. They worked the plan and the plan worked for them. Because if our defense was trash, you, you weren't saying the Ravens defense was trash the first two games when we were 2-0. Two, two and oh. Why is it when we lose two games back to back, our defense is trash and yada, 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 yada. So that I want to address first of all. Because the Ravens get blown out in one or two games doesn't mean their defense is trash or Harbaugh needs to be fired. It's a 16-game season, people. 16 games. Still, still early. Pittsburgh, for all we know, can turn it around and start winning games. So we got to stop this bickering. And, and the Browns fans never talk about their team like that. And look how many seasons the Clowns have lost. And they... Go to the stadium in the cold, watch them lose, watch them get blown out by us over the past years, and they stand by their team. But us, when we lose, we like little babies sucking our thumbs. Some of y'all need to get your thumbs out your mouth. Some of y'all need to get off that bottle and start eating meat and stop acting like a little kid and a little baby when we lose a game. So what were you not going? It's 16 games. You not even the Patriots win 16 games every season. Come on, man. Now, that's been addressed. Stop the criticizing and talking bad about the Ravens all the time because they lose. So-called Ravens fans that claim our defense is trash. They're not trash. Look it up. Now. Talking about our defense. Nobody's failed to mention Eric DeCosta in any of this. Eric DeCosta dismantled the Ravens' defense last season, much like Ozzie Newsom did after the 2012 season when the Ravens, remember when we beat the 49ers? And then at the end of the season, goodbye, Pernell McPhee. Goodbye. Donnell Ellerby, Kerry Williams, Ray Lewis retires, Ed Reed, they let him go. Dismantle the defense. The Ravens have been known to do things like that, people. And then the very next season and the season after that, and maybe the season after that, we had to reap what we sold. When you dismantle a good defense like that, especially people that are top-notch players, right, what do you expect? So, well, what DeCosta did at the end of last season, letting C.J. Mosley go, Zadarius Smith, who else was it? Eric Weddle, Terrell Suggs. We've let, uh, we ran the Taurus for letting good players go. Torrey Smith, we let him walk away. I know he's not defense, but Anquan Bolden, let him walk away. So when you dismantle a defense like that, don't expect the next season for the defense to be top-notch like that. Eric Mosley played and excuse me, CJ Mosley played an excellent, excellent part in the Ravens' success defensively. So, so Darius Smith is tearing it up in Green Bay. He's tearing it up. The Ravens should never have let him go. But again, that's Eric DeCosta. And some people say, well, Ozzie Newsom did this. Ozzie Newsom is an acting advisor. All he's doing is advising. And supporting DeCosta and his decisions. The ultimate decision making of everything that's going on is Eric DeCosta. Not Ozzie Newsom. Ozzie Newsom stepped down. So all he do is, does is advises Eric DeCosta, and Eric DeCosta is the ultimate shot caller, whether this person stays or this person goes. So stop saying our defense is trash. And if it is, you can't blame the, the defense. Blame DeCosta for hacking up the team. 
Like Ozzie Newsom did after the 2012 season when Ray Lewis retired and he let Kerry Williams and Ed Reed and all of them cats go. And we suffered for it. And I'm not going to talk about the offense today. I'm not going to talk about Lamar Jackson today. And I'm not a Lamar Jackson hater. I deal with stats and facts. So next video, we're going to be talking about Lamar Jackson. Also talking about some, um, some fun things that are going to be happening in our Ravens fanatics group. I'm talking like promotions. I'm talking possibly money. I'm giving money away and stuff like that. So y'all going to have to stay tuned and y'all going to have to be involved. And I'm tired of y'all people that's not being involved, participating in the group. You getting alerts to your phone. Every time we post something in a group, a photo or something, even this video was posted, it goes right to your phone and you get a, a Facebook alert. Now, I understand if you got kids, if you're working or something like that, but it, it's a choice of whether or not you choose to participate. And I know the people that's participating regularly. What's up, brother Corey? Corey Scott, my brother. Amen. And a few other of y'all that I know who are regulars and the other ones that are not popping in. And, and when we lose a game, you got something negative to say, a comment negative. But when we win it, you don't have nothing to say. My whole thing is I would rather y'all leave the group if you're not going to participate because I'd rather have a smaller group of people that's going to participate than a big group. Almost, we got almost 3,000 people. And you get 10 comments, 10 clicks of likes out of 3,000 people? And there's no excuse for that. It takes a second to click like and a second or two to comment. But we can sit down and... and, and Put up Christmas trees, stand in long lines, Black Sunday and all Black Friday and all this other stuff, and 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 put wrapping gifts up. All that takes time. It's it's a choice. I ain't got time. I work. You know, I got my grandchildren. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm busy. Busy is overrated. You got technology. You got a cell phone in your hand wherever you go. Even when you go to work, you got your cell phone. You get the alerts. And some of y'all reading it. I can tell who the ones that's reading it. It tells you how many people and who it is that's reading the post in the group. I can call your names out right now. But yet y'all in other groups commenting and posting in other groups. And all you doing is being a vampire in our group. Sucking information up and not saying nothing. I'd rather you just leave. And I'm not trying to be mean, but listen, this group is, we got the best Ravens group on Facebook. I don't care what group other group you're in. My group is the best. We're the only ones that held a Facebook uh, a football Sunday group event during the game in the group. The only group that's going to give out promotions and money, which I'm going to talk about next video. So stay tuned for that. But I'd rather, if you're not going to participate, get out of here. Go stay in the other group where you comment and posting and post, posting pictures and stuff. At. Can no group touch my group? And you were telling them I said that. We post videos. We, have, we, we do things together as a group in this group. No other group that I know is doing that. And I'm not saying this to be disrespectful, but I know what I know. And we got some other things that's getting ready to start jumping off here. For people that's adding a bunch of people in the group, giveaways and money and stuff that I'm going to send to you personally. Because I, I, this is not just a group, this is family. So when you are participating, this is like a family gathering. Understand? So that so we're going to talk about next video, Lamar Jackson. Is he uh, uh, overrated? Is he hyped? Overrated or is he really all that? Some of y'all think he's arrived and he's all that. I don't think that. And I'll share that in the next video. Until he reaches near uh, Tom Brady's status, he, he's not where he needs to be. Stop throwing so many interceptions, he's not where he needs to be. Stop trying to run the ball so much. No when to run, no when to throw. He's good, but he's not there yet. He's a rookie. He's young. So next video, we'll address that. The promotions, other things. Uh... There's probably some other stuff I want to talk about, but a lot of y'all don't like long videos. I, I love longer videos. I wanted to make this one longer because the first one was more of an introduction. This is the official first video.
So I'm proud of the Ravens. We won today. Our defense is not trash. Uh, oh, uh, Tony Jefferson out for the season. That's going to hurt us. Uh, we may have to use Jimmy Smith. Get him in. We haven't seen anything from him in there. He's on the bench now, and Marlon Humphrey's been running the show. So hopefully we'll see some Jimmy Smith, and he still got it and everything. And and our next game is against the Cincinnati Bengals. Right now they're zero and four. We need to take advantage of that. All right. So you've been watching stats and facts. Hopefully I addressed everything. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the comments. If you don't have to agree with me with everything, if you want to challenge me, that's fine. But as long as you're dealing with stats and facts, I don't want to hear no opinions. I don't want to hear what I think this. It don't matter what you think. What does the black and white paper say? Okay, what does the stats and facts say? You can give your opinion, right? But I'm, I'm telling you, I base it on stats and facts. All right, and to y'all people that is going to stay in my group, thank you for staying. Thank you for those of y'all who have been in my group. I've been running this group, what, seven, almost eight years now, something like that. And we've been doing group football events, and, and, and this group is something different, something better than the, than the other Ravens group. I love this group. And I don't know why we don't have so many more people participating, but they participate in other groups. And, and frankly, I think you're doing it on purpose. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I open the door for you. You, you know, you can leave. It don't make a difference because you ain't participating anyway. You sucking up, you being a vampire. All right. So, hey, this has been Stats and Facts. Until the next video. I uh, love y'all, man. And uh, again, leave comments if you want. If, questions or anything like that and if you have a twitter account i'm on twitter i'm doing sports on twitter i'm doing politics uh, uh, uh a whole bunch of other stuff rappers is, is people that i've met other rappers that's been on there you see me on there with them and stuff uh shoot me at uh twitter account is at the virgo poet at the virgo poet aka ravenous blackbird you've been watching stats and facts y'all Peace.